die. My name is Jackson Ellipsis Points. I'm known as a classic gamer, and sometimes as a game hacker. I love glitches in games. Glitches are just so interesting. It's amazing to watch game characters do things they shouldn't be able to do. Now I've read a few creepypastas in my lifetime, trust me. A few days ago I found an interesting hack for Super Mario 64. It was one called Darker Graphics and Sounds. Graphics slash effects 8032C59F3333. It was supposed to give the game a darker look and mess up the sound slightly. Now I know what you're thinking, the idea of this is just so stupid, and maybe you're expecting Mario killing someone or Toad dying. But it wasn't like that. What I experienced when putting that hack into Game Shark was the most lonely and haunting thing I've ever felt as a gamer. Now, when I find a cool hack, I normally record it onto a VHS tape. So, before I started the hack I turned in my VCR and hit record and started up the game. The game started and said, <coughs> But in a deeper voice, one louder and softer than the other. Mario's head popped up on screen and a strange low rumbling sound hummed out of the speakers along with a sound that kind of sounded like chains clanging. I practically booped F with joy. The game was just like a creepypasta, at least based on the sounds. I hit start and the menu screen popped up. The first thing I noticed was that the music went to a dead stop in the first note in which I thought was pretty cool. I selected a new file and the game started. Now it showed Peach with her normal box of dialogue and almost a drum or humming sound playing in the background. That is the moment I heard the first voice. I forgot to mention this is not the game I'm focusing on. That was not the most scary part about this event. A low hum came after the voice and Lakitu went down past the castle. Peach's castle was pitch black, with only the red flag poking out the top of the towers. I laughed in amazement at the effect this hack was having on the game. The ground was black, the trees were just sitting on nothing and the only true color was the water and the front doors along with the painting of Peach. The green pipe that Mario jumps out of came up and made a sound like a rusty door closing. Mario jumped out of the pipe with a groan and a repetitive high. A high-pitched beating sound throbbed out of my speakers over and over again. The dialogue box closed and I decided to look around. My heart thudded in my chest as I walked around the castle grounds. I was freaking dumbfounded. I normally got hacks that did some glitches but nothing like this. It was spectacular. As a bird rushed by the camera it sounded like a plane flying through clouds, a lowish sound. Although the sky was dead silent, it sounded like a thunderstorm was coming in the distance. I walked slowly through the trees admiring the amazing malfunctions of the game before me. I turned Mario towards the pool of water that was under the bridge and jumped off. As I swam off the water the low rumble that sounded like thunder rumbled through the air again. I walked up to the bridge that enters into the castle and Lakitu came down in front of Mario and did his normal speech. Now, when I went down the box of dialogue, every time I pressed a button in my controller, the game made a strange buzzing sound. It was like I was doing something I shouldn't have been doing. I went into the castle and Bowser's text box appeared along with a strange echoed funding sound. The inside of the castle was pitch black. The only things showing were the doors and the coins along with the faint outline of the second floor and the pairing above. Oh, I'm going to have nightmares about this, I joked to myself. But my laughing stopped as Mario started to walk slowly across the room. It was replaced by just this chilling feeling in the pit of my stomach of fear. Not a lot, just a little. Mario walked up to Toad and Toad said his normally lines. But as Toad spoke it seemed like the words trapped in the walls seemed more dark and menacing than they should have. I shook myself of these illogical feelings and carried him. I walked over to the small staircase, which I couldn't see, 
and went up it to the star door. The Bob on Battlefield pairing stood there glaring down at Mario in the darkness. I jumped into the painting and a sound that I could only describe as unlocking a portal rung out of the DD. I hit select and I was greeted by what sounded like a church bell ringing and a low rumble slash hum. Along with a strange pulsing sound, the sound continued, as I walked past past the chain shop. Now, like an idiot I fell off the bridge and landed in the ground. The game made a long tone trumpet sound. This was when the sound started to get really creepy. Have you ever heard those dark music sound tracks? Like the ones they use in those dark hallway scenes in movies? That's what this sounded like. An eerie dark rumble with an echoed springy sound mixed in. I jumped into the flower portal and teleported to the other flower patch by the middle fence. And no clue how I did it but I managed to get up the mountain in the dark and not fall once. Don't ask me how I did it. I got up the mountain and got ready to fight King bob -on. He turned around to face me and I started to battle him, not doing the best job in fighting but kicking his butt nonetheless. But the battle did however have a strange soundtrack however, a strange pulsing low tone sound and a low drum sound that seemed to get louder as I went along. I beat the king and the star came out along with another strange sound of a portal opening. Now I was feeling like I was doing some strange ritual by collecting the stars. I know that's a little over the top but that's just what it felt like. Mario jumped out of the castle and that's when I heard a sound that truly will haunt me for the rest of my days, a man groaning. I'm not kidding you. A man was groaning like he had just been through hours of torment. Chills shot up and down my spine, as I felt the feeling of truth here shake my very heart. I'd never been so creeped out like this by a game before. For the first time, as a gamer I felt true terror. This was now starting to feel like a completely different game now. Not the Mario I played as a kid. Not the Mario I had grown up to know and love but a completely different game. A game that slowly, moment by moment destroyed the wonderful memories I had with this very game cartridge. The strange whistle portal sound echoed again, as the dialogue box told me that I could open the door with the one on it. So I went into Hobbs Fortress, selected the first star and I was dropped into the game. That's when a woman's voice blasted out of my speakers and made me almost made me fall off of my couch. It said. And then went back to the low drawing sound that the game was producing. This is where I started to wonder what was causing these sounds. This way surpassed any sound bug I'd ever heard. It wasn't just a normal glitchy crackle or screech but full of voices. How does a sound like this even occur? I thought about this, as I went up to the top to fight the boss of the level. Now I got up to the concrete boss and heard the woman say, <laughs> for a split second before the sound of what was like a man grunting, as he was punched in the stomach plate instead of the normal sound the boss makes at the start of the fight. I beat the boss and collected the star and the strange sound played again. Every time I collected a star the portal sound would play. Mario jumped out of the painting and the groaning sound played again. What is this? These sounds must have been put there by the game designers. This was too messed up to be a glitch. Maybe by playing around with the game audio slash graphics files I unlocked locked something no one should have seen, I thought to myself. I went over to the other star door with the one in it and went into the princess's secret slide. When I was dropped into the level my heart skipped a beat. The level was pitch black. Only the two red lights and the sign showed and in the darkness. No. No. No way am I going down that, I said. I walked up close to it and muttered, oh my gosh this is creepy, looking at the dim light. That drowning music didn't help much either. It felt like I was in some haunted house at an amusement park. Not like those normal spooky cheap ones but like a really well done freaky one. Where you are just there in the dark waiting for something to pop out at you. 
I went ahead and slid down the slide, eventually falling off, because I could not see. I tried again but then just decided screw it, so I went to try the battlefield again. Now I messed around a little bit and then hit the pause button to try and exit the level. But the exit level option wasn't there. I tried and tried again but couldn't. So I just decided to try and get a star, and since I was on the level I tried to beat the turtle at the race. I went up the mountain and got hit by a ball. Nothing happened. No health bar showing I was hurt. Nothing. Jumping off the ledge I heard the woman's voice go. <laughs> again. What was it? Why was the voice popping up again and again? I went up to the turtle and started the race, but I failed. So I tried again to exit the level but couldn't. Now, as I was jumping around the map the music sounded more menacing. It kind of had a science fiction movie sound to it. That's the best way I can describe it. The audio of a distorted heartbeat came into the mix and that was just the cherry on top of it all. A loud muffled bell sound blasted through the speakers and almost blew them, and my eardrums. I grabbed the remote and turned it down slightly and continued to play. I went over and started to let the chain chomp off of its leash which proved to be successful. Now every time I leave a level that groan sound would happen, it got more and more freaky each time. Now I went off the door that led to Jolly Roger Bay. The room was black just like the rest of the castle, and the fish tanks glowed providing the only light in the entire level. The painting stood high in front of Mario, just as it normally would. Now this was my friend's favorite level. I always thought her whenever I played it. And that was another strike to the heart I got while playing this. The entire Jolly Roger Bay just now looked dark and lonely. My palm sweated with nervousness, as I felt like I was going to have a panic attack at any moment. But I kept refraining myself and remembering it's just a game and it can't hurt me. The underneath of the water was so dark and swampy looking. The eerie shapes of the rocks sticking up out of the water and the blueness above, it was just such a lonely abandoned looking world. Now, I never needed to get here, because well the game wouldn't let Mario lose breath. He was invincible. So I just continued to get the treasure out of the chest. Another loud high tone groaning sound came out of the game. It sounded like someone holding down an electric piano key. I bet you could guess what sound came from the star. That's right, the drone sound. This game was repetitive with its little soundtrack but I knew it meant something. The moan sound happened when I left the game and that's when I lost it. I started panicking like a little kid who just saw a horror movie on the TV by mistake. It's just a game, it's just a game. I cried to myself. I don't know why I was so scared. Maybe it was the feeling of just being alone in the dark or maybe the game had touched the little kid in the end I was just feeling the game smash my sweet memories. Who knows. Now I jumped into the hidden fish room in the wall and this by far was the most creepy room besides the slide. All you could see was the window outside. So close to freedom but trapped just behind the glass. Clouds were the only light in this room. Mario just went around the fish tank and grabbed each red coin and got the star. I just wandered out of that small room. Now the strange part was when I left this room. The groaning didn't happen it was just nothing. I went into the snowman's land door and jumped into the painting. Now snowman land was so dark I couldn't even see the castle just the trees and the shadow of the mountain. I jumped down to the bottom of the slide and walked past the snowman's head. Now looking back at the tape I see just how depressing the world in this game is. The headless snowman just sitting there frowning. It just seemed so depressing to see there was no joy in this game. Now I thought to rescue the baby penguin but decided not to. The bridges leading to each teleporter were gone, except the end, where you'd normally teleport, but when I tried I fell off and died. That's when my mom came in and scared me. 
I told her to look at the game that I was playing. And as I ran around the room in the game I told her about the voices in the game. She listened to the drawing of the game and told me it was very creepy. Then she told me she was going to the store and would be back soon. I listened to her leave as I played the game. Now once again I went to the fortress and just played around a little and that's when I realized how to leave the level's ellipsis point suicide. Mario had to actually kill himself in order to leave. I don't know why, but I just thought this was so dark. I went back into the level to go to the top of fortress, but instead I jumped off the cliff and died. Now I went back into Jolly Roger Bay trying to get out of the ship. I lured the enemy out and went into the ship. I swam through the ship silently and opened all the boxes to get the star. That's when the water went down. I tried to make it to the top in time but I couldn't. And because I couldn't get up, I couldn't see. I was stuck. Mario was stuck there. So close to freedom. But so far away. He was trapped with no way out. He was sadly left to die. And that's when I shut off the game. A few hours later I hacked the game again, same codes but also including a select level code but didn't get much worth talking about, besides the booze making strange sounds and stuff like that. But now I'm going to try loading the end title screen. I'm going to put the computer down, fast forward the tape and see the end screen. Then I'm never touching this again. I might just lock the tape away somewhere. Who knows? I'm posting this online. I need to have the world know about this. Hear my story, here it goes. I turned it on. I can't believe what I'm looking at ellipsis points. Peach ellipsis points. Mario ellipsis points so alone. The room. The cake is rotted. The cake looks moldy. At the bottom it just says these words. There is no end. 